So we have 26 sports. I mean, football is a big sport. We have 150 student athletes on the football team. Blaze and his staff do a great job recruiting and bringing in student athletes each and every year. Our goal always for all of our sports, and especially with football, is to win the Empire Eight, go to the NCAAs. That's the goal. So we're positioned really well for all of our programs to be successful. The hope with going to a university status, which we've probably been operating that way for the last 10 or 15 years, is to attract international students. And hopefully that broadens our reach into the international market. So it was the academics that afforded us the university status. That's how it went. And the Board of Regents, as you know, in the state of New York governs all of that. And they have seen that Utica and other institutions meet the standard for university status. And that's where we're at. We have graduate programs. We have doctoral programs. We're in a really good position academically, athletically, and we have a bright future ahead. That's who we are. We've always been a university. And so we're very appreciative of New York State adjusting the regulation. Because if we were in any other state in the Northeast, we'd have been a university 15 years ago. We're not just a liberal arts school. You know, we, we've got a, a tremendous amount of graduate opportunities, at both at the doctorate and master's levels for our students. So we've always been a university, just now we are officially entitled. Certainly raises your profile, right? Utica University, right? Because that's what we are. And uh, it certainly helps us in, in, in recruiting and branding the university. We always want our coaches to recruit outside. I mean, we have great athletes here in the area, but we always want them to cast a wider net. And we certainly encourage them to fish where the fish are. And this does definitely broadens that opportunity for them. Will we have coaches traveling all over the world to get student athletes? I'm not sure about that, but uh, certainly, you know, if opportunity presents in different countries, which makes sense, that certainly is an opportunity for us athletically. This is my 15th season at Utica University and my 30th year of coaching college football. You know, last year's team was a very young team and uh, we had a winning season, went to a bowl game. We did not like the results of that bowl game, so you see on our schedule online, we have unfinished business. So very quickly now, we're a veteran football team. A lot of new things, some new coaches. Nick Woodman's back, Proctor grad, coaching the defensive line with me. We're glad to have Nick back. A new defensive coordinator, Jamie McClendon, has made a great impact on our program. And then just really excited for me to uh, coach Joe Drabino, our offensive coordinator, Jared Klaus, both Utica guys, both played for me. This is our sixth season coaching together, so a lot of positive things going on in our program right now. Jimmy Warren coming back, first team all conference last year, playing that defensive end, rush end position. Local, Nate Palmer, was first team in three categories last year. VVS grad, captain, returning captain for us. And he was first team all conference as a receiver, all purpose and as a returner. So we're excited to have Nate back. Mike Cruder is a multiple year starter for us, a tackle. Excited to have Matt back on the offense. It's an exciting time. You know, we have close to 30 seniors. That's always a positive for our program. They all contribute one way or the other. Uh, six home games at Gaetano Stadium. And tell me, Aiding's back, man. The 12th man is back, full force. We have a jersey auction week one where all the proceeds will go to the American Cancer Society and the Believe 271 Foundation and the Hope House for any local families that are battling cancer. We went all around the Mohawk Valley and you'll see pictures of our guys on Route 12 at the Welcome to the Mohawk Valley sign up at B-52 Bomber up at Griffiths Air Force Base. We talk about playing for the city all the time and you'll see our guys you know, photo shoot down in the city with the key behind us because we play for our city. We're selling season tickets for the first time in a long time for season tickets for 20 bucks, a great family event. And uh, geez, every game there's something going on. We've grown tremendously from academic offerings to residence halls, to academic buildings, to sport teams. We now have 26 different teams and about 700 plus student athletes. I definitely have an appreciation. I know where we were. I know how far we've come and how far we have the potential to go. It's been great. And in terms of you know the 700 student athletes, I will say this, that our department GPA with those student athletes is above a 3.0, which is something that we're really proud of because let's face it, after Utica University, these student athletes are gonna go and get careers in something other than the sport they played. That's the reality. And none of this happens without the support of President Casamento and she's extremely supportive of all of our athletic programs and obviously the academic side of the house as well. It's been great. It's been great to be part of it. I've been the athletic director for 11 years. I've been at Utica for 22 years. And, you know, I'm proud to be a, a Utica University alum, and I'm proud to be the athletic director here at Utica at my alma mater.
Your pioneers are back. It's time for football. Join the 12th man tailgate. It's definitely time to come out to Gaetano Stadium, pack the gate, bring your family. We're really excited to have six home games and every week, every day, we're battling to, to get to that postseason, get that week 11. And we love night games here at Gaetano. We love the lights on those orange helmets. Fear the moose.